Hi, my name is Inspector O'Mathy. I own the number one detective agency. My job is to find answers and to solve puzzles. Today, we will use math cards to find answers for mathematical problems and puzzles. You may have noticed numbers on some cards. Other cards show the math operators. The operators are add, subtract, multiply, and divide. When we talk about each math operator, we sometimes say plus, minus, times, and divided by. There are also some cards that show the equal and not equal symbols. We'll use the math cards to solve the mathematical puzzles. Click the next button to continue. In this math puzzle, we'll find the missing math operator. The math operators are add, subtract, multiply, or divide symbols. One of the cards in this puzzle is missing an operator. Let's find the missing operator. So, what math operator do we use to make 8 and 2 equal 6? Should we add, subtract, multiply, or divide the numbers 8 and 2 to equal 6? Let's study this math puzzle. We know that 8 plus 2 equals 10, not 6. So we should not select the add math operator to add the numbers. 8 times 2 equals 16, not 6. So we should not select the multiply math operator. 8 divided by 2 equals 4, not 6. So we should not divide the number. However, 8 minus 2 does equal 6. So the correct label for the blank math card is the minus math operator. I will drag the math card that shows the minus operator on top of the blank card. Excellent! 8 minus 2 equals 6. Now you try. Click the Let Me Try button to continue. Now it's your turn. In this math puzzle, should you add, subtract, multiply, or divide to make 2 and 3 equal 6? Remember, when we talk about math operators, we sometimes say plus, minus, times, and divided by. Click the correct math operator and drag it Use math operators or words to describe the same idea. Here are some examples. When we say one pair of shoes, we mean two shoes. If we multiply two shoes times two, that equals four shoes, or two pairs of shoes. One dozen eggs is the same as twelve eggs. Three dozen eggs are the same as multiplying three times twelve, or thirty-six eggs. One foot is the same as twelve inches. 3 feet is the same as multiplying 3 times 12 inches, or 36 inches. We can use words, math operators, or symbols to make our multiplication problems easier to solve. Click the Next button to continue. Let's use our math cards to see how math operators and words are used to describe the same idea. Here we show that a group of 12 cards is the same as one dozen cards. Three dozen cards are the same as 36 cards. And 12 cards times 3 is the same as 36 cards. Now you try. Click the Next button to continue. Now it's your turn. Drag each group of shoes shown on the right to the correct shelf on the left. Click the Submit button after dragging all shoes to the correct shelf. Remember, two shoes equal one pair of shoes, four shoes equal two pair of shoes, six shoes equal
Did you know that it does not matter which number is first when you write a multiplication problem? The answer is the same. For example, 3 times 2 is the same as 2 times 3. The answer is 6. Here's another example. 4 times 2 equals 2 times 4. Whether you multiply 4 times 2 or you multiply 2 times 4, the answer is the same, 8. This is called the commutative property of multiplication. Click the next button to continue. A math card is missing the number to complete this multiplication problem. 5 times 2 is the same as 2 times what number that equals 10? Drag the correct math card to the blank card to complete A math card is missing the number to complete this multiplication problem. Drag the correct math card to the blank card to complete this math puzzle. 4 times 7 is the same as 7 times what number that equals 28? Did you know that it does not matter how you group numbers when you write the multiplication problem? The answer is the same. Here's an example. 2 times 3 times 4 equals 24. 3 times 2 times 4 equals 24. And 4 times 2 times 3 equals 24. The answer is the same no matter how you group and then multiply the numbers. That is called the associative property of multiplication. Now you try. Click the next button to continue. We can use the associative property of multiplication to make a math problem easier to solve. Remember, the way we group numbers when writing a multiplication problem is not important. The answer is always the same. For example, 5 times 2 times 9 equals 90. Here we grouped the 5 times 2 together, that equals 10. Now we multiply 10 times 9. That equals 90. Wasn't that math problem easy to solve now? Now you try. Click the next button to continue. Now that you understand the associative property of multiplication, use your knowledge to complete this mathematical puzzle. If 2 times 4 times 3 equals 24, then what does 2 times 3 times 4 equal? Are both math problems equal to or not equal to 24? Drag the correct symbol card to the blank card to complete this math puzzle. This symbol card means it is equal to. This symbol card means it is not equal to. Congratulations! You have completed this course. Together we reviewed the mathematical operators, add, subtract, multiply, divide, the equal and not equal symbols. You also learned a few tricks to make solving our multiplication problems a little easier, such as how to use symbols for groups of numbers and how to use the commutative and associative properties of multiplication to move and group numbers in a problem without changing the answer. Click the next button to continue. Try this fun quiz to test your knowledge. When you click the start button, a timer will start in the upper right corner of the window. Answer as many questions as you can answer. The timer shows you how much time you have left. 
The timer stops after 10 minutes or after you answer the last question. Relax. Take a deep breath and click start to begin. Very good. Incorrect. Very good. How did you do on the time test?
You can take the test again to improve your score. You can take the test again to improve your time. Do you want to take the test again?